Hello, welcome to another episode of Cool Stuff with Kyle. You see behind me here, these are some Chinese made cork carvings. And this art form, it's not an ancient art form like you might think, it's actually an art form believed to have started in the early 1900s, I believe around 1914 in China in a small village. And uh, there's been several generations of creators that have been making these carvings since then. Uh, they had more popularity I think uh, 70s and 80s were a popular time and then you know some earlier times before that they're not as popular now as they used to be so unfortunately there's uh, there's not too many people that are still making these carvings but there are, are still uh, some people doing this and it's uh, it's really neat I'll actually put some uh, links to some videos and information I found in the description to how these are made uh, but I'm gonna give you a closer look at the ones that I have here in my collection so these cork carvings, they come in a lot of different forms. Um, the ones that you see most commonly are the ones like this, where you have, you have little buildings that are carved, trees, um, like this, and then you have these little um, herons or uh, whatever these are here, storks, I'm not sure. Um, and then this one here, this this is a very big size. They come in very small and very large sizes. Um, this this is a nice big one. I like it a lot. Some really good uh, good workmanship on here. I mean, these things. I don't know how long they take to make one this size, but it must take hours because they carve out each one of these little details with a little knife out of these pieces of cork, and they attach all these things together. It's it's incredible. Now, I have some that are a little more unique that you don't see as commonly. I bought a big collection of these. I gave a lot of them away as gifts, and I kept some of the best ones that I liked. These birds, I think, with these long feathers, just, that's really cool. And then this one, here's another one. With some neat birds. This one, I just, uh, really like the detail on it and it's also it's it's very thick so there's a lot of depth a lot of three dimensions to this one there's a bridge actually back there in the back if we turn it around you can get a little bit of a different uh, perspective here see that bridge a little better from this side in the back of these buildings And then this one up here is unique because instead of birds, this one has panda bears. I thought that was really cool. We can take a look at the back on this one too. Pretty neat. I do have a few other kinds. Um, that are, uh, some of them are like jewelry boxes or trinket boxes. Uh, that I have one I believe that's kind of like a picture frame kind of thing. I'll show you those too. So here are some examples of some others that I have. This one is framed, you see, and there's a little bit of three-dimensional um, element to it, but it's, it's fairly flat. It's like a little shadow box. And um, you can see that there's a carved little structure there some trees which are a different style than the ones that you see in most of the other carvings that I have. It's pretty unique. And then these, this one is just an example of one of the smaller sized carvings that you might see. This one has some like palm tree designs, so that's a little bit different. And then some trees that are kind of similar to the, uh, the other ones that I have. Not quite as good um, detail though, this one is probably one I think that you would find, you know, as an inexpensive souvenir or something, you know, not quite as high quality as some of the others that I have. But it does have some little ducks, different kind of bird than what I have in the others. And then this is neat. This is, I believe, a jewelry box. And you can see there's a little bit of three-dimensionality there. There's a glass pane and the carving underneath that. And then this opens up and it's a, uh, yeah, it's a jewelry box here. And then this one, that one's got some birds. 
It's a jewelry box as well, and it came with this uh, this kind of old, um, interesting little lock that you can you can put through the um, you can put the bar of the lock through that to lock the box if you if you wanted to do that. And then I've got some very small little boxes here. This one looks like a jewelry box with that nice red lining there. And it's got four different birds there. This one has a couple of birds and this tower and some other birds actually up in the sky there. Little jewelry or, or trinket box. Pretty neat. So that's my collection of these Chinese cork carvings. Again, in the description, I will put some information about how these are made. I think that's really interesting. I've watched that video before, and it's pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed seeing these. And remember, until next time, the world is full of cool stuff. Go out and find some. Thank you.